West Africa Gold Cobo Resources. Ed, how are you today? I'm very well. Thank you very much for asking. You're at PDAC. What's your number one objective while you're here? Our number one objective is to communicate uh, the opportunity that we have to potential investors and in operating companies as we are raising capital to expand our drill program that we have set for this year. And of course, you just I just read an, uh, a Halgarten Plus company report about you and Christopher Ecclestone's words to me were a closeology. This is a closeology play. Would you agree with him? Absolutely. Uh, I mean, uh, we're less than nine kilometers away from an operating mine, which is the RA mine site. Uh, we have the same, land, the same package in terms of geology as our neighbor. So uh, we have no money to invest in terms of infrastructure. Uh, so it's a no brainer. It's completely what we consider a brownfield project close to a mine. So for those of you out there, they're going gold. We're watching gold right now. Let's start with a proper introduction to Kobo Resources. Can you provide an overview of what Kobo Resources is? Well, Kobo is a, a junior miner, uh, obviously. We've come to the table in, uh, on the TSXV uh, last March, um, but we've been in existence for uh, more than seven years. Uh, we were private up until then. Uh, exploring on that uh, license that we have, uh, was, which was granted to us in 219. Um, we have um, a, a, a good sizable chunk of uh, high net worth individuals that are shareholders. Uh, I would say among 25 of these guys are, are geologists or mine engineers who have seen the quality of the project and have decided to put their own money into it. Uh, we have a couple of institutional shareholders, uh, which are Gold 2000 uh, from Switzerland, uh, Delbrook Capital from Vancouver, uh, who have seen the opportunity as well and uh, believe in the story due, uh, we just talked about, uh, the closeology and the opportunity that it represents of probably being able to drill this thing, to find a resource and sell it to our next, next door neighbor in a couple of years. So it's a really considered as a short-term investment. One of the things that I found very intriguing about this story was how often your management team actually goes over there. We rarely, we, honestly, we rarely see that in a lot of these companies. Uh, the backgrounds of your very experienced professional team is impressive. I encourage you to go check their website out and, and do the research too. Uh, can you tell me what was so remarkable about this exploration play that you were able to put such a great band together? Well, initially it was a small alluvial play and we made a discovery, a very important discovery, which changed our focus going forward. Uh, so we uh, changed the project into a hard rock play and we had to convince the government to remove the dedication of that area to small permits to a large play, which we were successful in doing uh, over a period of time. And once that was done, we, after right after COVID, we did a, a geochem uh, program and an airborne survey, mag survey, uh, which revealed quite interestingly, some great structures. From there on, we continued uh, some uh, minimal geology, but uh, what was great for us was to attract the former drill manager at Perseus, who had drilled 160,000 meters up to leading up to the DFS. He came on board with us and uh, he recognized the quality of the project. He saw similarities with the next door neighbor and he felt that this was the largest uh, geochem anomaly in the region other than the Yare mine site. And since then, what we've done is we've also brought on board the structural geologist that worked at Perseus for seven years, came over to our property, looked at what we got, and he says, yes, you have basically the same geology as the next door neighbor. So uh, with that being said, we were able to attract high quality people. And uh, we recently added to our board of directors, Brian Scott, who is a former VP of geology and technical services of B2 Gold. Brian just retired in December and uh, we gave him the opportunity to come on board and he, he said immediately, yes, he feels that this is a great opportunity. 
Uh, so we're ex excited to have him on board with us with all his experience and baggage that he, he brings uh, from uh, having explored the world. In attracting such substantial professionals with extraordinary geological backgrounds, obviously you have drilling results that I'm certain you would love to update us with. Would you mind telling us a little oh, bit yes, more about uh, this? The, yeah, the, thank these, you. These drill results were published last summer. We had a, a successful 6,000 meter RC program and subsequently to that trenching. Uh, the numbers are just uh, fantastic for us and uh, have proven the size of, of the targets. Uh, so with that being said, what we've done since that, we've um, put together a drill program for diamond drilling to really understand the structure of what is going on. Uh, so that first 5,000 meters that we're gonna be doing is basically to put 10, 15 holes on each of those three targets, uh, give or take, in order to understand the structure. Once that is done and we, we've got that uh, managed well, we plan on drilling an extra 20 to 25,000 meters this year alone and probably the same amount for next year because our, our objective is to drill, drill, drill uh, as much as we can over the next two years or less, bring it to a, a resource stage and probably flip this property uh, to uh, an operating company who would be interested in developing it. Now, mind you that the nor next door neighbor is probably the prime target for this, uh, having spent $400 million before pouring their first ounce of gold. So uh, I think as their resource gets depleted over time, we are a natural fit to substitute our uh, resource to their uh, operating mill. So right now, I'm just going to change the course of this conversation. Obviously, you believe gold is where the action is at, yes? Definitely, definitely. And I think today it's, it's at 2090, give or take. I think it's going to go up. Uh, I'm not a, a predictor of $2,500 an ounce, but uh, I think the circumstances are that gold is going to continue to go up or at least stay stable at these prices. And our share price is, is uh, very uh, not expensive, I would say. And it is a great opportunity for the investor. And it's not a long-term investment like I just explained what we're, what we're doing because of the, your initial question of closeology. So for the typical investor, he has to look at this as a potential investment for two to three years maximum. Well, it sounds to me as well that if you're into drilling results, which we have a huge audience that loves drilling results, watching your results is going to be a lot of fun. It will. And uh, I would tell your, your audience to go look at the press releases of the past in the last several months where you can see the drill results and uh, look at those numbers. They're fantastic. They're as good, if not better, than the next door neighbor in terms of the surface numbers. Uh, obviously, the RC program did reveal some great results, but we're expecting the Diamond Drill program to be even better. Well, for everybody interested in Cuba uh, resources, and of course, checking out those previous drilling results, please go to their website. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.